What's up guys? Today we're working on an Addison uh, RTU. It's about 30 ton. I've uh, got a interface to install. Here's our part number. Uh, apparently it did have one on startup, but it's gone missing. So I had to order a new one. We have the uh, plug there already for it. So I'm just gonna wire it in, hook it up, go through some of the parameters and make sure that it's displaying properly. All right, so that kit came with the cable and the connector, just the plug in that you saw that was already installed on the machine. Um, you got 24 volts ground, positive and negative signal here. And that's just gonna wire into the back of this touch screen. Uh, I'll show you how to get this open. It's fairly simple. There's two tabs on the top. You push them down pull the sub base off so let me uh, get that off and I'll bring it back here all right so those were released and it just pulls off there's our terminals just get it wired into there uh, there are two uh, terminals there for sensor one two we don't have that we're just going to uh, get this interface working so we can see what's going on with the unit. All right, so our wiring's connected. Now we can just put it back onto the interface here. Kind of latches in the bottom and then clips onto the top. So we're not gonna be mounting this because you need to be able to pull away from the unit so we can uh, access it when we need to. All right, so our plug is just going to connect right into there. You can see it's already been set up for connection for handheld equipment. I am going to verify we've got our 24 volts first. So we do have 25 volts and that is just wired into TB4. That's our black wire and red wire. And then for our signals, go into the TB5. And there is the green and the white. There you go. So we should be able to just plug and play here. So we are loading up here. Let's see if I can get it there you can see. Alright. Looks like we're uploading. Give it a few minutes and I'll come back. All right, we are online, reading status. We have one alarm. That alarm happened in September 16th. It is a outside air relative humidity sensor failure. So that's uh, have that. Come on. Go over here. Let's do our sensor. Uh, just open it up and look. Everything looks good. See it in there but where the actual sensor is. corroded in there so I'm gonna order up a new 
sensor for this. I did have voltage here, but nothing coming out. So I'm just trying to reset that alarm. I don't think it will. Clear it. Nothing active yet. I think we'll probably come back. So our cooling one is commanded on, pressure one is on. It's like zone air temp is 71.4. Hard to see with this glare. Set point is 70. Cooling two, 95%. Same zone air temp, 71.4. And let's see if we got dehum going on here. And it's off right now. Reheats our relative humidity is 59. Kind of get ready to come on here. Back. Dm two. That's off. Uh, heat pump one. Said our compressor one is on. Said air temp 53.2. Let's check keep up two. And go back. Economizer off. Damper feedback is 11.5. Outside air temp, 88. Probably. Waiting to see if that alarm comes back. But anyways, you get the gist of it. Uh, that's how you connect that and get your interface working. So now, when there are problems, it takes the guesswork out of it. So like I said, we'll uh, just likely just order another sensor here. It looks like we've got a lot of corrosion in there. Easy enough to get to. Outside air dampers, pretty rusty. That's salt air for you. Uh, no belts in here. This is a direct drive. It's got one of those centrifugal fans in it. Condensers aren't bad. They got drives on the condenser motors. They're not micro channel. We'll see how long these are gonna last. But like I said, it's been running a couple of years. I haven't had really any issues with it. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you got something out of it. You got comments? Put them down below. As always, appreciate you watching. See you in the next video.